in the previous video lesson I, I forget to talk about distributivity all right <laughs> I'm sorry so let me let me talk about this distributive thing now here well uh, again I'm gonna take you back uh, to 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 uh, arithmetic okay uh, when we, we when we are learning about the whole numbers okay for a while okay I want to multiply 7 by um, uh, 18 okay but I don't know the table of 18 what can I do so what I used to do in whole number chapter that 7 times and I used to break this 18 you know I used to I used to break this 18 as a 10 plus 8 and then what I used to do I used to distribute right I used to multiply 7 to 10 right and again this 7 used to multiply 8 so 7 times 10 okay and then plus 7 times 8 so this is how I used to distribute because I know 7 times 10 and I know 7 times 8 but I don't know 7 times 18 all right or maybe this can be um, 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 anything 38 45 whatever okay so 7 times 10 that is 70 and 7 times 8 that is 56 okay and see how easy it's going to be now so simply I'm going to add this 116 so 7 times 18 is 116 but 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 I didn't know this you know directly so what I did I took some steps step 1 step 2 step 3 step 4 all right and now this is what I'm going to do with algebra I'm going to generalize this rule okay and let's now suppose let's suppose for a while instead of writing 7 I'm gonna write here one any variable a okay and instead of writing 18 which is ultimately 10 plus 8 I'm gonna choose another two variables let's say B plus C right which we further divided like this you know further distributed like this so this is actually 7 times 10 that means a times B okay that is a B plus this thing okay a times C AC and this is the distributive law right now this is a generalized form for the all arithmetic numbers okay now let's say I, I can take any any I can take any numbers uh, let's say this is 3 all right let me go with the smaller numbers um, 6 plus 4 so it's going to be 3 times 6 all right first to this and then 3 times 4 okay which is 18 plus uh, 12 that is going to give me 30 right now these are numbers easier what if this is um, 11 uh, times um, anything 17 okay this is now tough a little okay I don't know the table of 17 or 11 so I'm gonna use this thing dun, 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 right and this is going to be very easy 11 times I have to break this 17 I have to distribute it to the smaller terms okay let's say uh, generally we do in the basis of 10 so 10 plus 7 all right I think you learned this thing in the whole numbers so 11 times 10 and 11 times 7 okay 11 times 10 plus 11 times 7 all right which is 110 plus 77 so this is going to be 188 how easy it is all right so this is the generalized form of the variables all right so variables it means you can change the value of a b and c to any number all right any number you select and you can apply this rule okay see the things are getting more powerful all right <laughs> I told you algebra is going to make your whole mathematics or whole life very very easier trust me you just have to learn how to apply them all right and that you're gonna master very soon in few uh, weeks or month <laughs> all right uh, so this is what was distributive and I think I, I should talk about the associativity also right little bit let's talk about the associativity from the name itself it is very clear you know associativity came from uh, the word association let's do some association <laughs> all right so this rules also uh, can be generalized uh, you know in algebra uh, let me go first at arithmetic let's say this is 3 plus uh, 4 plus 5 all right uh, and again I'm writing same thing okay 3 plus 4 plus 5 okay I'm taking very simple example so that you could you could understand so I'm associating here 4 plus 5 first all right and here I'm associating 3 plus 4 is it going to change or not let's take a look all right so it is 3 
and 4 plus 5 is 9. Same here, 3 plus 4 is 7, and this 5 is as it is, okay? Now, 3 plus 9, that is 12, and 7 plus 5 is 12. Ooh, voila! It's not changing, right? This is what is associative rule, associativity, okay? And now let me go with some numbers. Let's say this, uh, this 3 is A, this 4 is B, and this is C, okay? Again, right? Let's, let's, let's do that. So it is going to be A plus B plus C is going to be A plus B plus C, right? So uh, A in the bracket B plus C and A plus B in the bracket plus C. So this is now the generalized form of associativity. You can apply this generalization with any number, right? Uh, any number, seriously, any number. <laughs> uh, let me take some numbers. Let's say 11 plus 5 plus 7, okay? 11 plus 5 plus 7. One more example, okay? Just, just for you. Only for you! <laughs> Alright, so... Oh my god, I'm, I'm almost going to finish here. Okay, so I'm going to finish. What does that mean? I mean, uh, the, the page is going to finish. Alright, so 11, 5 plus 7, how much is that? 12, we just did somewhere, 5 plus 7, yeah, 12, okay? And 11 plus 5, that is 16 plus 7, okay? 11 plus 12, 11 times 2, that is 22 plus 1, that is 23rd. And 16 plus 7, 6 times 2, 12, and one more extra, 23rd. This is absolutely correct, okay? So you can apply uh, associativity rule, you can apply uh, distributive rule, you know, recently we learned here distributive rules, and then we can also learn commutativity rules, okay? We can apply any rules, commutativity, distributivity, or associativity, alright? Uh, in the next uh, presentation, we'll do some exercise, and then we'll jump to the expressions with variables, which is very, very important, alright? And I probably... Uh, these were some fundamentals which may or may not be in your not, uh, in your in your book. Okay, uh, now we're gonna start uh, the the book. I think the the, the like, examples that I'm gonna give you uh, here in the video tutorial more likely to found in your notebooks now or in the books. Okay, I told you this is and the rules uh, of arithmetic. So we're gonna generalize that. Thing, you know, okay, so if a number, let's say this. Three, you know, you know this three can be anything. For a while, it's three, language, but it can be any number. Like and this five uh, can be any 